Hi, welcome back to On The Volley. Well, our first Champions League game, come and gone, against Feyenoord, okay, uh, Feyenoord 2, Celtic 0. <coughs> i tell you what, what was that performance there? I think that's the worst performance I've seen from us since I started supporting Celtic. You know, I mean, okay, we had a couple of chances, first like, you know, 10 minutes, I thought we started off well, to be totally honest. Uh, Hatate, he had an opportunity, he created an opportunity for himself, took a shot, quite tame, to be totally honest. His second opportunity, uh, he had Kyogo to the right. He didn't look up and um, takes a shot right against the defender. I mean, the defender, final def defender was right, you know, in front of him. He, I don't know what he was trying to do there. Um, you know, and talking about Hatate, I really don't think he had a great game. Uh, I thought he was quite poor. But then again, I thought the whole team was quite poor. We had no energy. There was no, you know, after that first 10 minute spell, Fainal just seemed to take control. Now, one of the things I can't understand, I'm watching the game on the box. And yes, we didn't let a goal in until, uh, you know, just like a minute before the end of the first half. A poor goal to let in, to be totally honest. Well, let's start off with the foul. Matt O'Reilly uh, steps on the final player's foot. Okay, gives a foul away. You don't give a foul away there, especially not, you know, when it's one minute to the end of the first half. We give a silly foul away. They step up, and I have to be honest with you, I had a feeling they were going to score. Now, I don't know what uh, Joe Hart was doing. Uh, I don't know how he set up his his, uh, his ball. They take the shot. Kyogo, he jumps up but turns his body. And uh, to be totally honest, I think they had three players at the end of our wall. And if you saw how it went, their player, which was next to Kyogo, moves out the way, okay, and the ball went straight through that gap. So that's where the final player was aiming for. And I just think that, um, you know, Hart was just too far to the right of his goal. I mean, he moved to the left, okay? He dived, he managed to get his hand on the ball, but he needed to be that one step or two step more to the left of his goal, and he would have saved that. A poor, poor goal to let in. But, I mean, let's, let's look at that first half, yeah? So many mistakes from our players. After the first 10 minutes, okay, final started to get to grips with the game. So many mistakes, so many misplaced passes. Uh, you know, and those misplaced passes just put us under a lot of pressure. Now, look, I'll give it to our defence, okay, especially our two centre-backs. I thought our, our defending was spot on, you know, the, they were probably our best players on the pitch, if I have to be honest, because our midfield, our midfield was practically non-existent for me, yeah. It just seems to me as if they won the midfield battle. They had a lot of opportunities, okay. They took a few shots, you know, a lot of shots from outside the box, which they skied. Yeah, did they create any, any clear-cut chances? Um... I think the only clear-cut chance which I can remember was when their player went through and Alistair Johnson managed, OK, right, to get to the ball, OK, and practically take it off the final player's feet. Um, but they looked more dangerous than us. They looked more energetic than us. They were beating us. Okay? They were getting first to the ball. Uh, sometimes we were just caught napping. And, you know, we were holding on to the ball too long. And they'd come in and just take the ball off our feet. And I, I just, I couldn't understand it. I, I couldn't see the, 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 the structure in our team, okay? I didn't see the urgency. I didn't see the hunger. I saw that from final. It was what I was expecting from us. But final had it. Now, look. <clears throat> I know a final they've had a good start to the season. I know they won the league last season. But it's a Champions League. 
And you know you're going to be playing against teams, okay, of a certain level. We weren't up to that level, I'm sorry. You know, I watched the game and I tell you what, I thought the game, I thought it was an embarrassment. I thought we were poor. Um, look, I remember the first season when Ange was there, yeah, and we played by Leverkusen. We lost 4 0. But if you remember rightly, their goalkeeper made four or five world class saves, okay, right, to keep us at bay. And even though we lost 4 0 to them, the German media, everyone, okay, the whole German media was just applauding our performance, you know. I don't mind losing when we lose like that, okay, right? Because we went. And we went and we took the game to them. The only difference, okay, apart from the fact that Bailev Kirsten scored four goals, was their keeper did four or five world-class saves. Then you look at our performance last season against Real Madrid. I mean, what? We, we hit the crossbar, we hit the post. Uh, you know, we played really, really good football. Okay, we lost to Real Madrid, but... I don't mind losing like that. And even the Real Madrid players were singing our praises. You know, we know the competition in Europe is tough. We know the Champions League is tough. We know we, we don't have the same budget, okay, that some of these teams have. Um, but we went out there, okay, and we gave out our all. We attacked them. We attacked the other team. We took the game to them. We didn't do that yesterday. And what made me, okay, I won't say laugh, okay, what surprised me was the commentator, while I'm watching it, is, is basically applauding our performance. Saying that, you know, we're competing with Van Ord and that we played well in the first half. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Not... It, that's how, that was my interpretation of the game. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm looking at it in a completely different way. And maybe I don't understand anything about football. Even though I played football. Even though I, I've watched football, played football since the age of eight. Maybe, maybe I've just gone mad. Maybe I've just forgotten what football's about. I don't know. But a commentator saying that. And then you get, you get Brendan Rodgers, okay, coming out. Saying, oh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the boys. Okay, right. We competed with them. No, we didn't. No, we did not. Okay, right. They, if it wasn't for Joe Hart, penalty save, you know, they had two goals that were offside. Um, okay, I suppose you can't count that because if it's off, it's off. One was definitely off. The other one, mm, debatable. And, um, Joe Hart made a save, at least one save, I remember, okay, uh, a good save at that, yeah, so, so Joe Hart saved us on at least two occasions, yeah, at least two occasions, and let's not forget, Feyenoord were wasteful, they were wasteful, they had shots on goal, they were taking shots from outside the box, okay, even inside the box, okay, and they still skied it over the goal, okay, so we're very, very lucky, that they weren't clinical on the day, you know? So how anyone can say that we competed against them, I just don't understand. I really don't. I think we were made to look ordinary. Um, I think we were very, very poor. And I'll be honest with you, if we play like that, I can't see us winning one game. I'm sorry, I look, I hate to be negative. I don't want to be negative, okay? But how the hell am I supposed to be optimistic when we play like that? And then there's another statistic to take into account, yeah? Brendan Rodgers, before this one, okay, he'd managed, okay, 19, okay, Champion League's games. 19. He's only won two. Two. One was with Celtic, where we played away against Anderlecht, if I remember rightly. And the other one was when he was managing Liverpool against Ludogorets, okay, a Bulgarian team. You know, and on that occasion, 
who did he have in, in, in his group stage? He had Luda Goritz, Real Madrid. OK, I can understand not uh, winning against Real Madrid. And Basel. And they came third. They didn't get through the group stages. OK, you would have expected Liverpool, Liverpool, OK, out of that group to come second. So, you know, he's only won two out of 19 games. I, I suppose now it's two out of 20 games, yeah. He's um, drawn five <laughs> and all the rest is lost. So how can anybody feel optimistic, OK, with that type of pedigree, if that's what you want to call it, pedigree? Because I don't call it a pedigree. I call that abstract failure, to be totally honest. I call that very, very poor on a statistical point of view. I couldn't understand some of his decisions neither. Okay, Yang has been playing really well. Uh, what does he do? He puts Luis de Palma on, okay, who's played about 30 minutes so far, yeah? And I'm thinking to myself, well, hold on a second. Why start Luis de Palma? Bring him off, bring him on from the bench. You don't, you don't start him. Yang has been, you know, on fire. He's okay. He's still got a lot of improvement to make, but at least he's direct. He attacks, okay, the players. So I couldn't understand that. Um, to be totally honest, I'm surprised he didn't put Turnbull on. I'm glad he didn't. I would have expected him to do that. That's the type of thing Rogers would do. He put Atate on, and look. To be with, with all due respects, uh, you know, I love Hatate. He had a poor game. <laughs> Can't deny that. He was poor on the night. But to be totally honest, I wouldn't have taken Hatate off. Now, you're probably saying, well, hold on a second. You just said he's poor, so why wouldn't you have taken him off? I wouldn't have taken Hatate off for one reason, one reason alone. Even though he was poor, he was probably the only player there that could conjure up a defence splitting pass, okay? It just takes a moment of magic, okay, from Hatate to put Kyogo through, okay? Because let's be honest, Kyogo had absolutely, absolutely no service whatsoever. You know, we did have another chance to score. Uh, great play by Maeda, where, you know, he runs through, gets past the player, OK, right, takes a shot and the keeper was equal to it. But apart from that, really, really, what did we create? What did we do? Uh, I mean, please, please tell me. Maybe I'm wrong. If you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm over-exaggerating, <clears throat> let me know. You know, maybe maybe I've just become too, you know, green-tinted uh, glasses. I don't know, but that is how I saw it. I saw us as, as being poor. I saw it as our worst performance since I've started, okay, um, supporting Celtic. Let's not forget something. This isn't the Scottish League. This is the Champions League. The Champions League. You've got to do better. Your tactics has to be better, okay? And you have to choose the right players. Now... You know, I've, I've been I've been seeing some of the comments, okay, that's been bandied about on on Instagram, so on and so forth. You know, blaming Joe Hart, but Joe Hart saved us, okay. He saved us with a penalty. He saved us with another great save. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for Joe Hart, we could have been like five or six down, maybe, okay. Plus their wastefulness, okay, right, because they were wasteful, playing all, yeah. Um, Joe Hart made another save, but that was an easy save to make where they took a shot from outside the box. He just jumped up and palmed it away. So, you know, to be totally honest, I won't even count that. That was just so easy that, you know, you expected Joe Hart to save that. Then Lager Bjork is getting a lot of grief, OK? And, um, you know, to be totally honest, yes, it probably was a penalty. You know, he put his arms out, hit him. But did you see the final clap? What a bloody actor. He he put his hands out and it was like across here. The final player chucks himself to the floor and puts his hands over his face as if he got hit in the face. Don't they know that we have action replays? Don't they know that VAR, okay, checks that stuff? Now, 
Yes, it was a penalty because Bielke, Bielke shouldn't have put his arms out. But as soon as, okay, the penalty was given, the final player got up, big smile on his face. You know, he, he's, uh, he's, uh, what you call it? One of his, uh, players, okay, one of his, um, colleagues comes up to him, you know, grabs him, gives him a hug. What? So that's the second yellow card for Bill K and he's off. He's off. Rightly so. You can't argue with that. Odin Thiago home, who I love as a player. I think he's a great, uh, player. He's young. Made a mistake. Okay. He goes, he goes in with a sliding tackle. He's, his studs are up. Okay, right. He didn't hit the other player. He didn't hit the final player because I saw him pulling his foot back, his leg back. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think he, he actually made contact at all. And even then the final player, I don't know if you saw the action replay. He just chucked himself in the air. Another dive. Okay, right. As if he'd been hit by a tank or something. Oh, I'm thinking to myself, that's disgusting. Okay. You know, when I used to play football, you'd never do something like that. Never, ever do something like that. You know, you get hit, you get back up. Nowadays, nowadays, okay, right? It's just, oh, man, it's just, they're just too soft. They, they're too much acting, too much rolling around on the ground as if they've been shot. And that's what I don't like about football. And I think that the referees need to be a little bit sharper, okay, and really, really clamp down on that kind of stuff. But hey, he got his red card, okay, you couldn't argue with it. He's off as well. So not only were we down to 10 men, we then go down to nine men, yeah. So, you know, to be totally honest, I wasn't expecting anything then. Um, you know, when we went down to 10 men, uh, Rogers takes off Kyogo, and brings on Tamako Iwata. So already there, it, it says everything, yeah. You know, you've got one player that might be able to make a break and score a goal. Rogers just wanted to keep the score down. At that point, you know, leave your striker on. Try and hit him, okay? Try and get the ball to him and let's see if he can make some ma magic out of it. Like I said, I would have left him on and I would have left on Hatate. Uh, and again, even with Hatate, I've seen a lot of, lot of, uh, criticism of him. You know, people saying we should sell him, we should get rid of him. The boys just come back from injury. Uh, you know, and I don't blame him. I blame Rogers. I blame his tactics. I don't know what he was trying to do there. Okay. It looks as if, you know, when, when we play teams in the Scottish League, yeah, and they're playing with a low block, okay, and they try and hit us on the break, okay, it seemed as if we were doing that. It just didn't seem to me as if we were taking the game to them. We, we did in the first 10 minutes, but then we just, we just capitulated. We crumbled. And this is where Rogers should have got hold of it. He should have been communicating to the players and getting them back online again. Like I said, I'm I'm not too optimistic. Um, <laughs> Lazio and Atletico Madrid. That's not going to be easy at all. Yeah, our last game is going to be against Feyenoord at home. But to be totally honest, I think by then it will be all over. Now I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping, okay, that we can turn it around and I'll be, okay, supporting the lads every single game. But I'll, tell, I'll be honest with you, I'm not too sure about Brendan Rodgers. I don't know whether or not he has the ability and the capacity to turn it around. And like I said before, I can accept losing. I don't mind losing. I don't like losing like that. Okay. I accepted it when we lost against Bell over Kirsten 4 0 because we played football. We took the game to them. I accepted it when we lost against Real Madrid again because we took the game to them because we actually played football. I've seen a lot of comments as well saying, bring Ange back, bring Ange back. Well, that's never going to happen. 
Okay, that is never going to happen. And I would just like to remind everyone that, uh, you know, before Rogers came in, I was calling out for Nutson. And the reason I was calling out for Nutson is because we've seen him when, you know, managing Bodo Glimp, he plays attacking football. Okay, he has more or less the Ange Postacoglu philosophy. Okay, let's score more goals than them. That's what we need to see. Rogers needs to be a bit more adventurous. Rogers needs to just take the reins off the players and let them go out and play how we used to play. That is the only way that I can see us having a chance in the Champions League. If he doesn't do that, again, like I said, I hate to be negative. I'll support the boys through thick and thin, but I'm not too confident. Not if we play like that. Anyway, listen, I've had my rant. Um, it's my first ever rant, okay, to be totally honest, since I've started supporting Celtic. And I bloody well hope it's my last one, yeah? Anyway, listen, that's it from me. Misha, I'm out.